Um, you know, in Ohio, campaigns really come down to about the same thing every time. Voter turnout intensity. If we get out our voters, we know we're going to win. We've got the independents with us. We're going to probably win some Democrat voters, but we absolutely need every Republican to vote. And you can help us do that. Whether you're sitting in a room like this making phone calls or talking to your friends, your neighbors, um, you can help us out. And it's really important oh, for the yeah. next 20 yeah. days we stay yeah. focused on voter turnout. Yeah. It looks good. Um, certainly a better place to be than I, well, where many were in 2006, which was a really bad year for Republicans. Um, but we can't forget how important it is to make sure we turn out our voters uh, in 20 days. Look, it's been a great honor serving as Auditor of State. Uh, we do performance audits of governments all across the state of Ohio. We've made thousands of recommendations on ways for governments to save millions of dollars. And quite frankly, wow. I'm tired of many of them ignoring me. Yeah. <laughs> surprise! Uh, yeah, surprise. Yeah. We don't need to um, distort the record of our opponent. It's very clear. We've That's lost right. nearly 400,000 jobs in the last three years, um, raised taxes, uh, bloated government even more than it was before. They say they cut spending. They really didn't. They grew the size of government. Right. They say they reduced taxes. They increased taxes. We don't, have to do, we don't have to distort the record of what we're going to do. We know we need to get government spending under control, cut spending, reduce the size of government, reduce our taxes so our small businesses have the opportunity to create jobs, get our regulatory environment under control, get our regulators under control, fix our workers' compensation system, train our workers. You know what? We can do all of that. We can do it with your help. If we do all of that, we know Ohio will be a better place to live. And that's ultimately what this is all about. John was the chief architect of the balanced budget amendment in Congress, the first time the budget was balanced since man walked on the moon. They uh. cut taxes, <laughs> and they, they cut taxes on risk-taking and investment, and they paid down a half a trillion dollars in debt. And the result, America prospered. We need John to do for Ohio what he did in Congress. And I know with your help and your support, we're going to get through these next 20 days. We're going to win. And then with your help and your support for the next four years, we'll get done the things that need to get done to fix this state. So without further ado, let's welcome our next governor, John Cage. I have to tell you the truth. And looking around the room, I see a lot of you remind me of my mom. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's it. I, see, I see some of you that remind me of my mom. And... Uh, my mom would be very proud to be in this room today if she could be. And uh, my, my mother and father are both gone. They were killed in 1987 by a drunk driver. But they are, believe me, they're watching this race very closely. And, um, but Jim will tell you, you know, my parents always told me that when you work hard and you're successful, our chairman has worked hard, he's employed a lot of people, he's successful. Uh, Jim Renacci has worked hard. He's been very successful. He's helped a lot of people to get ahead because he's been able to pay them money. And if you notice the tone of the election this time, if you've worked hard and you've been successful, somehow you must have done something oh, wrong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to let that stand? No. 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 no, because you know what? You tell your kids, you tell your grandkids all the time, that, look, it's America, right? America is a place where you can go from nothing. You could be on the bottom of the ocean, and the next thing you know, you can be on the top. You know, you can have, you could come from very, very poor circumstances, and yet you can become whatever it is you want to be in this country. That's right. Um, that's what the Tea Party is really all about. Right. Yeah. Somebody, I spoke to the Tea Party last night, and a reporter said to me uh, today, he says, well, you know, you're a Republican and that Tea Party, they're extreme right wing. I said, well, let me tell you who they are. They're my mom and dad. Let me tell you, they're my mom and dad who are worried about our country, the level of debt, the size of government, and the taxes. And they're worried their kids aren't going to be as successful as they want them to be. Am I right there, Mom? told you my mother was around. <laughs> Look, we got smashed in 2006, and we were hiding in the ditches then. We just, we were struggling, and we were getting nowhere in 2006. In fact, our campaigns resembled their campaigns a lot in the fact that it was all about negative, and we didn't win. 
Then in 2008, we lost Ohio to Barack Obama. That's right. Yeah. 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 Well, people were hopeful. They were hopeful that it'd be a change. It was. Okay, no, it really wasn't a change. I'll tell you why. It was, it was not a change. The reason why it wasn't a change is because of his inexperience. Barack Obama turned his agenda over to Nancy Pelosi and yeah, Harry yeah, Reid. Right. And they've, yeah, yeah. they've been in that place since Moby Dick was a minnow. <laughs> <laughs> and they've been, they have been salivating over the thought of being able to run this country from the top down with a handful of people trying to tell us how to run our lives. Right. And he turned it over to them. I gotta tell you, if you're fed up with what's going on in the country, yes. and if you're fed up with the fact that we are getting poor as a state, That's right. that Ohio's lost its pizzazz, yeah. that we need to get this back for our state, that we need to get this back for our country, we cannot let them buy this election. Right. We cannot right. let them outwork us in this election. Right. Yeah. Are, we got to work. Yeah. Are we going to work yeah. or are we yeah. not? Yeah. Are we going to hand it to them or are we going to take it from them? Because yeah. that's what this yeah. is about. Right. Yeah. We got to win. Yes. 19 days, we win, yes. and you know what'll be the sweet victory? Ooh. When we've beat them all. Yeah. When we've beat